Julie Gerling, Conservative MEP for the South West. Will fishermen in your patch have reason to celebrate this Christmas after the, the annual quota talks have now come to an end? Well, certainly um, compared to the news that we were getting yesterday, which was that the talks were getting pretty gummed up and nothing seemed, there seemed to be no coherent line, nothing was getting through beyond the threats of largely the number was 15 and it was 15% cuts on most things. Um, the news that we got in the early hours of this morning, I think they broke up around 3.30, 4 o'clock, the news we got was that uh, Richard Bennion, our fisheries minister, had played a, bi a blinder and had managed with most of those 15% to get them either rolled over to zeros or um, indeed in the case of uh, Seoul, he managed to secure an agreement that uh, Beamer trawlers that were inclined to take CCTV on board as part of this, this new initiative to check on discards and reduce discards would in fact be given an increased quota of 5%. So that was very good news. So all in all, uh, for the South West, it looks like um, long, protracted and difficult though they were, the negotiations seem to have achieved a, a decent result. I mean, do you think this really was a tough set of negotiations? Because according to the South West Fish Producers Organisation at the Brussels talks, they were saying, you know, until the very last minute, really, they were looking at what they thought were unstoppable cuts. Will this come as a pleasant surprise to South West fishermen, oh. do you think? Oh, I think so. I mean, even as late as 11 o'clock last night, I was with a colleague with a text from Richard Bennion, um, saying that yeah, it's all looking pretty pretty bad. So, uh, you know, I was delighted to disc to wake up this morning and find that, that it, it hadn't been anything like uh, the, the disaster that we thought. So all credit to him. I think he's done a great job. The fact remains, of course, that uh, this yearly um, <laughs> festival of horse trading is just not a suitable way to run an industry. It's not a suitable way for these poor, poor people's lives to be um, orchestrated. We, we really need to have, with the common fisheries policy changes that are coming up, we need to have a new system that settles us down to regional control. That's what we're looking for. So that the people who understand what's going on in the fishing waters and who have a vested interest in continuing fishermen, fishing, i.e. our fishermen, have got far more control over what's happening to them. So they're not sitting waiting with bated breath in the early hours of the morning waiting to see what next year's do they have a livelihood or not it simply can't go on like this I mean I know you've invested time in going to visit fishermen in the southwest how does this annual you called it horse trading you know up until the, the very last minute how does that leave southwest fishermen feeling really well it leaves them feeling that they don't ever have a secure future and when you don't have a secure future, you start looking at alternatives. And we've seen that with our fleet. We've seen people just going out of the industry. And it's not just about you know, going out to sea and, and getting fish and feeding people. It's about whole communities and how communities have traditionally lived their lives. And the uncertainty, it's always been an uncertain profession. Goodness me, fishing is not, um, it's not exactly the safest, most calm profession. But this just adds layers of uncertainty and political uncertainty, which mean that people just in the end they just throw their hands up and say I don't think I can do this anymore I, I need to feed my family and my children we need to have a future so I, I do think this annual circus has to end you said yesterday when we were uh, in in the words of the southwest fish producers organization staring down the, the barrel of a gun really on these talks you said the industry in the southwest was teetering on the brink and this could really be the the final straw um, is this a, a ray of hope or are they still very much on the edge? I think this is a ray of hope. Um, certainly the initial reaction from the fishermen's organisations has been very, very positive. Um, I hope that that positive attitude continues. I've not, obviously not had a chance to talk to any fish, fishermen about it because I'm here in Strasbourg, but I'm sure that it will be a positive. But, but once we get over the elation of, of this particular set of talks, and we, I, I have no doubt that a certain level of, um, not quite disappointment, but disbelief that we're still carrying on this way will settle in. And uh, they rely on people like me to try and change the system so that it, they can have a much more secure future. And I, with my colleagues on the Fisheries Committee here, are trying to do that.
You mentioned CCTV and the use of that as a potential incentive to allow a slightly increased quota. What is actually the idea there and do you welcome sort of innovations like that? Perhaps they might be something to explore in the future? Yes, I do. I, I think that there has to be a word of caution on it. I welcome it as an innovation because what, 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 it's, what it's trying to do is, is end what most people... I mean, Moving away from the coast, just ordinary people in the southwest who have nothing to do with fishing find the whole subject of discards really distasteful. Throwing back into the sea fish that could be eaten, just completely anathema to most people. So what the CCTV scheme is trying to do is to set up some kind of, if you like, validation of, of what fishermen are doing. So. Um, it, it's observed and the discards can, they're recorded so that we can actually get a really complete picture of what's happening and I, I think that will help, that will definitely help in the discussion about ending discards because if we want to end discards then there has to be a trust in fishermen not to just abuse that system. Now. I personally think that there has to be that element of trust, but this CCTV experiment will just try and will validate that, that position. So I think that's a good thing. Just one other point I wanted to pick out from yesterday. A, a key concern was the potential cut on the days at sea for the Beamer trawlers out of Brixham, the mainstay of, of, of the biggest port outside Scotland. How, in, how crucial is that 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 has been headed off? I, oh, clearly, that, that's a crucial part of the agreement that's been secured. Um, there always was a just complete lack of logic between uh, reducing the days at sea and, and then trying to work out by species what that meant in terms of the catch. You know, there's a certain element of finger in the air there, so I think it's, a, it's very good news that they've not reduced the days at sea. The quotas um, and how fishermen wish, wish to achieve those quotas that should be um, a decision that's left for fishermen to decide.